So John 5, where we just read, I'd like us to do the pretext of that scripture. John 5 from 19. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. 20. For the Father loveth the Son, and sheweth him all things that himself doeth. And he will shew him greater works than these, that he may marvel. 21. For as the father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the son quickeneth whom he will. Hmm. For the father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the son. So the background here is raising the dead. Give me that 23 again. That all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son, honoreth not the father which hath sent him. Now, observe the word, all judgment, the word crisis. The father has committed all judgment to the son. All judgment is the word crisis, the noun for judging. That means all judgment has been given to the son. To be put in place for the son. And it will be a function of what the son has done. Give me verse 24. Please pay attention. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. He is calling it resurrection from the dead. He will quicken what the Son will do. He that believes in him will not be distinguished from that resurrection. Look at it. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath, 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 H A T H, hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death to life. Give me the pretext in verse 23. Pay attention to 23. That all men should honor the son. Give me 22. For the father judgeth no man, but had committed all judgment unto the son. 21. For as the father raised up the dead, and quickened them, even so, Kabayada, the son quickened whom he will. The father raised the son, but believers are raised in the son. Please stay with me. That's the pro-action of God. Now, verse 25. That John 5 is heavy. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. They that hear. Two things. In verse 24, you heard. And you will not come into condemnation. So, two things. Verse 24 is salvation. Verse 25 is resurrection of dead bodies. Number one, salvation. Number two, resurrection. Verse 26. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Oh, what does the Father have? Somebody shall life only. For as the father had life in himself, so hath he given to the son to have life in himself. The father has only life. There's no death in the father. Eternal life. Let me ask you. Eternal life, incarnation or resurrection? Resurrection. Now verse 27. Read 27 for me. And hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the son of man. To execute crisis, judgment. 28 and 29. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. 29. And shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Pay attention. They will be raised unto damnation. Resurrection does not mean life. Resurrection does not mean life. Hey. A man can be raised and he is still dead. 
That's why Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Two different things. So that's why some people will be raised to damnation. That they are raised doesn't mean they have life. Their resurrection will be to damnation. And there are those that will be raised to life everlasting. So resurrection does not mean life. Please, that's important. Take note of that. Brought out for damnation. Brought out for condemnation. A decision they made that now permanently distinguishes them. Damnation. A decision they made. That means in this instance, death and life will be distinguished. Notice that the resurrection to life and damnation happens at the same time. Did you observe? Did you observe that both happened at the same time? Resurrection to life, resurrection to damnation at the same time. It's not like uh, after, after believers are raptured, then Antichrist will come out and take over the world and control. No! Resurrection to life and damnation happens at the same time. Meaning, after the rapture, there's no continuation. This world ends. There's no war ruler coming to take anywhere. Don't let all those uh, um, movie industries mess up your theology. It's one event. One event. Resurrection to life. Resur okay, by my he that believeth is not condemned. One time. The same time. He that believeth not is condemned. Same time. Same thing in resurrection to life. Resurrection to damnation. It's not, it's not one event. Then after many years, another event. No, no, no. It's going to happen at the same time. So the rapture is the end of the world. The rapture is the end of the world. So we find out that judgment is in the resurrection to life and judgment is in the resurrection to condemnation. That's why Mark 16, 15 puts it like this. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Next verse. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Yes. But he that believeth not shall be Did damned. Did you see the way it is combined together? Once you believe and you are baptized, you are saved. Once you don't believe, you are damned. Every time you see them, they are together. They are not, they are not two different events separated by time. They are not. And the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm hollering like this is because this thing I'm dealing with has messed up so many th things in the theological world because of, 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 of money makers who want to just make money creating a storyline that produces fear all over the place. What will you do if you miss the rapture? Have you had a message like that before? Five things to do if you miss the rapture. Fourteen things to do if you miss the rapture. If you miss the rapture, you have missed and the only reason why you missed the rapture was because you didn't believe in Jesus. Faith in Christ is rapture. Amen. Glory to God. Faith that whosoever shall not perish but have. Exactly. That's rapture. Rapture is faith in Christ. Rapture is not a threat. 